Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about form fragment. So as content fragment and experience fragments are used to reuse your content the same way you can create form fragment to reuse your form fields in a different forms. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say you have a book and book has two identities called author and publisher. So you have two forms, one for author and one for the publisher. But both forms has fields to save address. So rather than you create those fields every time in a different different form, we will create a form fragment and then we will reuse or use this form fragment in different forms. So now we created form fields for address just at once and we are reusing it. So in future, let's say we need same field for other forms. We can reuse this uh, for fields using this form fragment. Creation of form fragment is straightforward. Go to the forms and you will see an option to create this uh, adaptive form fragment. So before that, I'll create a folder where I will be keeping all the fragments and I will cre create all the form fragment inside this. So let me create a fragment here called address and rest of the things I will leave as it is. I'll no, not use model or I'll not have any advanced configuration. Just configuration container, you can use your own, let's say geeks forms folder and you are done. Let's create this and open. When you create this, you always have a root panel. So to create form fragment, let's add a panel. Adding a panel is not mandatory, but it is. Uh, it has some advantages you will see in future so that you can group all these fields together. You can apply the your conditions on, on rather than adding on these fields individually, you can apply on this panel. So I will add a panel and then I'll add fields inside that. So for that, let's add a panel panel okay now you can add some name uh, to this panel let me have it let me say address and here also I'll change the name address panel I can use this name to apply some conditions later in coming tutorials so now I'm done with that now add some fields. So I'll add field like address one, address two, city. So for now, let me add text box, text box, and just uh, add those names. So I have added two fields called address one and address two. Now I want these fields together, means uh, one after another. So what you can do, this is just for your information, go to the design and uh, you should go not to design but to layout go to the layout you will see a layout now add this by for six columns and later one also add you know layout for six columns once you are done you will see these two fields are in six six columns so now again go back here and go to the edit in same way, let me add the field for city, country and postal code as well. So if you see, I have added field, all the address related field in my address form fragment. So now what I'll do, if I create a form, let's go back and create a form, form. And I'll create a adaptive form using my template. Let's say uh, author. All right, and I'll keep rest of the things as it is and create. So if I open this form and I added all the needed fields like name, last name, whatever it is. And if I need to add address related fields, so what I'll do, I'll come here in this left hand side in assets, this tab and search for form fragments. You will find here adaptive form fragment, right? And you will see here whatever the fragment you created just reuse that, that drag and drop and once you see you will see the name what you gave there you don't see fields here but you will see a panel added here so if you go to this in preview means publish mode you will see those fields let me do that for you if i go here and see in let me add wcm mode disable 
here you will see apart from the field all the fields have been added basically if you see these five fields are coming from the form fragment that's why you can create reusable form fields using form fragment we'll see how you can save this data to tables and all uh, means at the, in a separate table in coming tutorial we'll say that in detail but for now you know how to create form fragment i hope you understood if you have any question please add comment